Hello everyone, my name is Udita Kuntia. I'm from class 3 Stewart School, Bhubaneshwar. And today I'm going to tell you a very, very beautiful story. And that story name is How the Sea Became Salty. So, how the sea became salty? You can tell it how the sea became salty, or you can tell that story's name as the magic mill. Okay, anything you can tell. So, I prefer the name of uh, how the sea became salty. That was, I love that name. So, what happened that once a long, long time ago, a king ruled, a king ruled a very good kingdom. Okay, that king, in the kingdom, in the region of the king, the kingdom was very well, very well looking and really it was very well. If it is ruled by such good kings, then it will be really well those kingdoms who are ruled by those good kings. So everyone in that kingdom were happy and there no one in the kingdom was hungry or starving or anything else like that. Everyone was happy and so one day but there was one thing that the king had was most precious. The king said the king's peers, the king's subjects, and his kingdom was very, uh, it was very precious thing to the king, and but, but the most precious thing to the king was a meal. It was an ordinary looking one, so it was an ordinary looking one, and nothing uh, was so beautiful about this meal. But why did the king love it? Because it was a magical meal. If you could tell me, if you could, if you would tell, um, what? Make some, make me some salt. One thing else you can tell to the to the, to the meal, magical meal, and he shall give it to you. The meal will start to produce the salt and salt, salt. Then at last, the king would say, "Stop, meal, stop." And the mill would stop. So one day a very successful thief. The thief that has been successful in various. Um, in where he has stole various things and had been successful. And he wasn't cut till now. By the police. So he came there. And then he decided. Oh I shall take this magical mail. Hmm, he thought this and then he went to the king's palace, king's kingdom and then asked others and he started to locate where did the, where is the magic meal is, where did the magic meal is located. So he began searching for it. He told all the people as he, as he was disguised as some of his ministers, he began to tell people. People, oh, everyone, everyone, come. Do you know where the well, meal, magical meal of the king is? Then all the people said, oh, nothing. It's not so surprising. Why are you doing like that? You are the minister of our king. You know, it's only by the lotus pond. Lotus pond back at the back of the kingdom. Now the thief got the answer. It was the, the, uh, the magic meal was at the lotus pond. So that night, he went in search of the lotus pond and at last he found it and there it was the magical meal. So then he took it, he took it and then began to run away. And all this while, the king had a strange feeling. Some, he said to himself, something's wrong, something's wrong. Something's wrong. What must it be? Is it my magical meal that is stolen? He thought suddenly it stuck to his mind. And he ran to the back of his uh, kingdom. And what he saw? His magic meal is stolen. Oh no. Poor king. What had now? What will he do without his magical? Uh, what will he do without his magical meal? 
but still but he went away and tell all the uh, men of his kingdom to go and search for the all the ministers and all those people who are in the palace they they were told to go and find the thief but the thief the successful thief i was uh, i was telling about it a few minutes before was now going to through a boat so in the boat he kept the meal and then he said meal meal produce me a little uh, produce me salt because he thought i am a thief now and soon i'll become some merchant can a meal produce salt no no i don't think so he said to himself then he thought oh everyone needs salt without salt nothing can be cooked yes i said to be a salt merchant and give everyone salt after salt after salt and that will be really nice for me so he said make me salt meal and then the meal began making salt salt after salt salt after after salt came and then at last his boat began to drown in the sea and then the thief said and then the thief cried for help 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 but no one was there to listen was that the now the boat was drown where did the boat drown is now the thief was in the middle of the sea okay sea or ocean you can tell any uh, big uh, river body so he was in and no one did no one did not uh, no one was there to help him only each four sides east west north and south everywhere there was only water who would come in the water and help that uh, thief no one would come no 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 everyone would say no i won't come so the thief now drowned and the meal is still producing salt and salt so that is why the oceans the seas are uh, the ocean and the sea are always uh, very salty the water is very salty that's why because the meal is still producing salt okay so that is the story of the magical meal or the how the sea becomes salty thank you have a nice day